Hi everyone, I'm Beth Set. I program the four Overture Galleries that focus on Dane County artists and regional artists. And we are now in the studio of Barbara Landis and Paul Sullivan, a husband and wife creative team. And they have shared a studio for more than 20 years in New Jersey and now here in Madison. They moved to Madison in 2010 when Barb began her Master's of Fine Art degree at UW. And the push to collaborate came full time when Barb was selected for an Overture Playhouse Galleries exhibition in 2015. And so tell us the story about your uh, beginning to collaborate. What happened was I was going to be in a group show at the Overture and it was a kind of difficult space because it's a curving wall in the Playhouse Gallery with wall sconces and pink carpeting. And I was like, I don't know what I'm going to do with this space. And Paul said, well, let's go walk through. So he came with me and we walked through the space and he kind of zeroed in on this like sitting area, kind of an alcove that's a little bit bigger of a space, allows for sculptural work. And outside the foot traffic. And it also opens up to the first floor so you could make the work taller than the ceiling. We loved work big, though we weren't working together at this time full time but we were both always artists. And he had, was just shooting out all these ideas. And I was like, you need to help me with this project. And he said, okay. And um, that was really the beginning. And we've been working together ever since. Um, I know paper making is really central. That's kind of the, the core material that you all work with. Yeah, you can, you can pigment the paper. You can create these textures. You can create these openings. You can cast over materials. This was cast over dowels. This piece here was cast over um, other objects that you can see impressed in the paper. So it's just been this kind of um, never ending experience of all these things that you can do, which we're still exploring. Tell us a little bit about your creative process working together. We'll start out as craftsmen, craftspeople. Uh, artisans with this ancient craft paper will make it the old-fashioned way, uh, pull the sheets, and make these essentially decorative objects. And then it's almost like another couple comes on, and they take all these beautiful decorative objects and then put them together in, in artworks. So that's where it's discontinuous. It's like yeah. two different couples are working, yeah. which is great for us because then it's all, all the more fun to do in the studio. So this is a, an example, sort of more of a collage work, where we've taken a lot of scraps of paper from several projects and just put them together. So this is all paper. There's a little bit of pastel in here, and, but it's all collage that way. And we'll just take turns kind of moving things around on it. And then on the back, we did some more of it. And again, this is kind of a fun piece because it, it feels complete unto itself, and yet we still feel like we could use it in a work, you know, with several other pieces of paper. Part of the fun of collaboration is to see what might happen differently than when we're working alone. So even if I think Paul is doing something really kind of weird and I don't know what, he, what he's thinking, I, I just have learned that if I just sit back and watch, then something unexpected will happen. It ends up being much more about the art than about the artist, which is, which is great. That's the exciting part. When we make something that's kind of a little beautiful, but not kind of as um, decorated, it's, it works, it plays better with others. We can then take it and use it in artwork where things are much more put together in a more complex, compositional way. And, and we like to contrast the paper objects like you can see with um, the Home Depot objects. Yeah. <laughs> like the pink foam and the, the wire you see here. Here's more foam, you know, so kind of using, um, using that contrast of materials is something that we both really like. 